1985, an RPG was released by Interplay that was so successful it became the best-selling computer RPG of its time, captivating players with its innovative graphics and fun gameplay called Tales of the Unknown Volume 1. However, most people know it by its subtitle, The Bard's Tale. Mostly due to how popular the character's, well, character class was. You see, like any standard Western RPG at the time, you made a party of six characters, choosing what classes you wanted, like Hunter, Monk, Rogue, Magician, and so on. But it was the Bard class that made the game unique. Their songs would buff the party with long-lasting spells to help in combat, a mechanic that would become a staple in MMOs today. Of course, being a hit, there were sequels with the fourth installment set to release this year. However, that's not what we're talking about today. In 2003, Brian Fargo, founder of Interplay, who had also worked on the first three Bard's Tale games, left his company and founded InXile Entertainment. The following year, they released their first game, a top-down action RPG titled The Bard's Tale. Wait, what? Yes, The Bard's Tale. However, it's not a remake nor a sequel to the original series. In fact, the only reason they're able to get the name was due to a legal loophole. Instead, it's a whole new adventure with just one major purpose, really. To make you laugh. But enough history. Let's just see how good The Bard's Tale really is. The Bard's Tale's... Well, Tale is one as old as time. A princess named Kaylee is being held in an evil tower by an evil cult, and a hero is needed to save her. That hero just so happens to be the Bard, an adventurer who only has two things on his mind, coin and cleavage. No, seriously, look, it's on the box. Anyway, after taking care of a small rat problem at the local pub, the Bard is recruited by a local order to rescue said princess. Of course, not without the promise of big rewards. I have to say, this has got to be one of the best stories I've played in a long time. It takes the tired old Save the Princess yarn and turns it on its head, turning it more into a spoof of RPGs. The sudden fourth wall breaks between the Bard and the narrator are just hilarious, and the interactions you'll have with NPCs aren't always what you expect, yeah, yeah, all the way to the crazy conclusion. Evil, please, oh please, could you risk your neck to save her, blah, blah, etc, etc, etc. I've heard it all before. Is that all you've got? Aye, that is... Well, you... Like I mentioned briefly in the beginning, Bard's Tale is a top-down action RPG, very similar to Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. This is even more apparent as the same game engine was used on Bard's Tale, so... If you're familiar with those types of games, you'll fit in here just fine. A quick rundown for everyone else, the gameplay is very much like a Diablo type game, where you go from chapter to chapter, completing quests and hacking down enemies in order to progress. But there are some differences that make the Bard's Tale stand out. First, you don't choose a class as the Bard is, well, the Bard, so there's that. You then allocate skill points at the beginning, with the difficulty chosen determine how many you get. Then you choose a starting trait, like wielding two-handed weapons, parrying, things like that. Don't worry though, when you level up you'll be able to add more skill points and learn new traits. Once you get into the game, you'll speak with certain NPCs to either get a quest going, buy weapons and armor at the blacksmith, or drinks at the pub that boost your stats. One thing you'll notice while chatting it up is a choice between two faces. These choices are snarky or nice, meaning you can either come off as a gentleman or a dick. However, just because you choose one doesn't necessarily mean it's the right answer, nor will the bard actually come off that way. Regardless, either choice comes out as pretty damn funny. Oh my lord! I don't believe it! I truly don't believe it! Do my eyes deceive me? One can only hope. So much for peaceful and quiet. Oh, my eyes speak the truth. My love has indeed returned. Although you vowed to return to my arms, time had cast doubt upon my heart. It's been so long since that magical night. I'm truly sorry, milady, but I'm afraid you've mistaken me for someone else. Someone less handsome, I'm sure. I get that all the time. Back to inventory, you don't really have one. Your weapons and armor you'll come across by either obtaining them in chests or dead bodies, 
and by way of the blacksmith. What's really cool is when you obtain a new piece of equipment or come across something weaker, your old stuff is automatically sold for silver as well as any other stuff you come across. Something that should be implemented more in games like this. You have five types of weapons at your disposal. Swords and shields, dual wielding with a sword and a dirk, two-handed swords, flails, and bows. Combat is fairly simple. You have an attack button, block button, and a jump, which really doesn't do that much. You may notice that while you have a three-hit combo, you can't just spam the attack button as you'll get your ass handed to you quick. Blocking is definitely key here. With magic, there are two types to use. The artifacts are abilities gained as you defeat bosses and grant you different powers, each with three levels of power. Instead of an MP meter, though, you use gems that you collect called adder stones, with each level using a certain amount. The other magic is the bard's bread and butter, the magic of music. The bard can learn and play several melodies that summon different helpers and creatures, each with their own abilities and strengths, like melee attackers, healers, and more. Lastly, there are tokens you can collect across the maps that will give you boost to your stats. Something I haven't mentioned yet is healing. Now granted, most games you just get some potions and be on your way. Well, the Bard's Tale says no to that. Instead, you can only heal by summoning a creature that heals you while you fight, using the heal artifact, or by visiting the local churches and making a donation. Fun fact, the more you donate, the more extras you unlock in the bonus menu. As far as any flaws or annoyances I have with this game, it's about the same as how I felt with Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, in which it played fine, it just had some really annoying camera issues, though Bard's Tale seems to improve on that just a bit. One thing that I can say is annoying is the world map. Instead of just going from chapter to chapter like in Dark Alliance, you actually travel to each town like in a traditional RPG, complete with roaming enemies that kind of remind me of the fights that would randomly appear on maps in Super Mario Bros. 3. What sucks is that sometimes these enemies are unavoidable and can kill you pretty fast if you're not careful. Visually, the Bard's Tale is a very pretty game. Muddy and dark, but still pretty. The lands you visit, from dingy villages, snowy fields, and dark dungeons and towers, give off your typical medieval fantasy game vibe, which is nice. The characters are really well done though, with villagers that look like they came out of Monty Python and the Holy Grail, to creatures that vary from standard skeletons and rats to a half-human, half-horse zombie demon. Oh, and there's also a big-ass rat. Quest complete! All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows, or has he? Plus, I really dig the design of the bard. He looks more like a scoundrel than a typical hero, and it fits his personality perfectly. For audio, there isn't really much background music in this game, which is kind of sad but there are musical segments where characters break out into song, and it's just magical. Plus, the voice acting is just top-notch, with the standouts being the Bard, played by Carrie Elways, who most will know from his roles in The Princess Bride and Robin Hood Men in Tights. The magic bulb! Well, why didn't you say so? You better be joking. If only I were, my friend. I wish I could help you, but you want the bove down the street. Try to be more specific next time. Uh, maybe my blade can be more specific and the very bored and agitated narrator of the story, played wonderfully by Tony J. to run from him like the plague. Perhaps he would one day learn that in order to keep friends near, a man such as himself needed to keep them tied up. If only I could find a sock big enough to put in that mouth of yours. Though Fnuff had escaped, the bard had the unmistakable feeling that they would meet again. Of course, that's how these things always work. If they just stayed around and took their beating like a man for the first time, they'd save me a lot of trouble. 
The Bard's Tale is a game that I can't recommend enough. It's got familiar gameplay that isn't bogged down with item management and inventory, satisfying magic and combat, and fantastic humor. Sure, it may not have much to do with the namesake of the original, but like some remakes that have come out, it does its own thing, and it does it well. Now normally I would say go with the Xbox version on a game that I cover that has multiple ports and releases. However, there is that one rare occasion where I actually choose a different version over the big green. And in the case of the Bard's Tale, I'm going to have to do just that. But not because this version is bad. Far from it, actually. It's just that the game is so readily available anywhere that hunting down a copy on Xbox isn't really necessary. Unless you're collecting, as the game is amazing regardless of which version you're playing. But if the big green is your choice, you'll be happy to know that the game is quite affordable, with 15 bucks being the highest I've seen it go for. Sadly, there never was a sequel to this Bard's Tale, as the next proper installment was the aforementioned Bard's Tale 4, based on the original series. But who knows, maybe that old narcissistic bard might show up again one day. Well for now, this is the Dolly Poppy saying, stay green everybody, see you next time. You know... This game's actually pretty fun. I think I'll play through it again for the hell of it. I, wait. What is this? For a really disturbing image, flip disc over. What? I don't remember that. <laughs> wait, that's just my reflection. You clever mother... Finally over. I never want to read another word about that bloody bard.